The classic of CONCACAF reprised again. Welcome to the sun setting, lights turned on, CONCACAF under 17 championship, the gem of Guatemala, the national stadium in Guatemala City playing host. It shimmers tonight. The trophy is at midfield. It's the United States taking on Mexico. 73 degrees now that the sun is set at 5,000 feet altitude. Rain should stay out of the forecast as it thankfully has for the majority of the tournament. There is a slight crosswind that exists here tonight, although again, less so than the rest of the tournament. Here's a look at the road to the final. The United States and Mexico have both punched their tickets, along with Panama and Canada, to the Under-17 World Cup in November in Peru. Now just the trophy remains. This is the third final between these two sides, all here in the last three tournaments. 2017, it took penalties. It took extra time in 2019. But what's been known now for the last decade is that the under-17 trophy belongs to Mexico. They didn't play the last edition of the tournament due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but the previous four all ended with Mexico triumphant. They try and retain their dominance at this age category in a time where their dominance in the region seems to be slipping away from them. This is the only trophy that they currently hold in a major tournament in CONCACAF. This is it. They don't have Nations League or the Gold Cup. They lost the under 20s and with it, Olympic qualification. They lost Champions League. All that's left is this CONCACAF under 17 championship. And all of a sudden the United States may well reign supreme across the board in CONCACAF major tournaments, men and women. This U.S. team has had a strong performance, 23 goals. They have conceded just four. In the group stage, a tight-ish game against Trinidad and Tobago, a nervy 1-0 win against Canada. They've since turned on the spigot offensively since. A 5-3 victory at this venue in front of nearly 15,000 fans against the host country, Guatemala. A 7-0 drubbing at the Dominican Republic. And then a 2-0 win against Canada, extending their winning streak the under-17 level over the Canadians now to 11 games. Well, for Mexico, you can't begin to question their dominance in this tournament. They've only conceded once. It was in a draw against Panama. The last time they lost in this tournament was in the group stage in 2017. At the under-17 level in CONCACAF, 17 matches unbeaten. They blew out Nicaragua in the round of 16. They handled El Salvador handedly. 3-0 in the quarterfinal to punch their ticket to the World Cup. And they knock out Panama 5-0, pouncing on early mistakes from the Panamanians. And it all leads to this. This is the dream scenario for a number of these players to get that first taste, not just of CONCACAF, but of the greatest rivalry in the modern era of CONCACAF. Historically, this under-17 level has belonged to the Mexicans, and yet, as the United States strides onto the field, they can only look at what's been laid out over the last couple of years and realize they're more than just on par. They may well be the side favored. What a fascinating matchup this is. We'll meet the lineups. The United States have made a lot of changes. Mexico's made none. We'll kick this off. The anthem's to come. A spectacular moment here in Guatemala City. The United States and Mexico for yet another trophy the Under-17 Championship in CONCACAF. Damas y caballeros, por favor ponerse de pie. A continuación, escucharemos el himno nacional de México. Enemigo, propagar con tu casa tu sueño, 
Viento, patria querida, te quiero. Un soldado es para mí, mi modelo. Un soldado es para mí, mi modelo. Mexicanos, ahí mi modelo. escucharemos el himno nacional de Estados Unidos. Damas y Fair or not, games like this begin to fit a narrative for these under 17 players. It's one that could follow them their whole career. It's that first ever taste of USA Mexico, the Clasico of CONCACAF. The under 17 championship final is just moments from commencing in Guatemala City. Let's meet the lineup that Raul Chabrón has put together. He's made no changes. Take a look at the numbers, one through 11. That's been the case the entire tournament. They knew their best 11, and they've rarely strayed all that far away from it. All eyes on Barajas, who plays for Charleston Battery. Five assists, three goals. Stefano Carrillo, seven goals, joint leader in the tournament. He's scoring or assisting a goal on average every 41 minutes. He's scored in all five of his appearances thus far. They're the officials, a great honor Filiberto Martinez of El Salvador's third match of the tournament oversaw Mexico's 9-0 win over Curacao to open the group stage, Guatemala's 2-1 win over Jamaica. He's the fourth official for the United States and Colombia, January senior national team friendly. And at the international stage, has already worked in CONCACAF League last year. No VAR in this tournament. It remains the case in this final. So Carlos Vargas, and Christian Alvarado worked the lines. Their decisions are final. Captain's meeting, that's Tyler Hall for the United States on the right and Isaac Martinez on the left for Mexico. A look at the lineup assembled by Gonzalo Cigares and this should sound familiar. It's a 20 player roster. They've made nine changes. That's been the case throughout this entire tournament. One thing he learned from the under 20s last year in Honduras, the team that's more fit and the team that has more gas in the tank at the end typically performs better. 6-0 oh, and 0 oh, this team. Diaz steps out at center back. Orangi steps out as well. Stuart Hawkins steps in at the center back position. Oscar Verhoeven from San Jose will play wide. The United States looking for perfection. Their fourth tournament title. They won it in 83, 92, and 2011. Mexico looking for their ninth and their fifth in a row. They won it in 85, 87, 91, 96, and the last four tournaments dating to 2013. So it begins, the United States and Mexico for the under 17 championship in CONCACAF. 
Lamelli sends it away. This is Alvarez chasing. Early pressure on Sawyer Jura. Push him up, push him up. Alvarez swings across in. Too far for Carrillo. Push him back, push It's Romero, skims down toward Alvarez, cleared, it's momentary, and launched by Martinez. Raul Chabrand leading this team since 2019, also oversees the under 20s, the under 21s. Lomelli. Lomelli breaks free, got by Jura. The win from Suarez. Yeah. Off of Soma. Half-hearted appeal for a handball. Figueroa comes back to the ball. David Vasquez. Four assists, he and Paolo Rudisil, most for the U.S. Another look, that arm. Sort of leaning back. This could be a very different conversation, certainly inside the penalty area. No whistle from the referee. So the United States have avoided an inauspicious start. The foul from Urias. Climbing over Soma. Tyler Hall. Duran Faree, Jura, Hawkins, Faree. Medina. Medina flying, Figueroa. Intervention from Navarrete. Toluca Academy product. Vasquez. Jordan Figueroa, as impressive as Carrillo's numbers are. Figueroa, seven goals, one assist. He's done it in less than 250 minutes. A goal contribution every 27 minutes on the field for Gonzalo Cigaris' side, former Costa Rican national team defender. Joined the staff at U.S. Soccer in January of 2020. Named to this role, the start of this cycle, October 2021. Habrun. Clipped in behind, Verhoeven. Get us! Barajas. Well, two players that have San Jose Earthquake Academy history, Verhoeven and Barajas, who short-lived for Fidel Barajas. Time in the Sacramento Academy in his native town. Went to San Jose and then went across the country, number 11 in green you see there, to the Charleston Battery. What a pickup that's proven to be. Medina, heavy touch, it's Orias. Fourth start of the tournament debuted for the under 17s here. Jura, Hall, Verhoeven, 
Baraja slides. For Romero plays in LAFC's academy. One of the trio of players that have been called in in this cycle for the U.S. The reserve goalkeeper Fernando Delgado, Barajas, and Romero. Alvarez floating in behind. Three lets this out. Well, Mexico applying all the pressure six minutes in. Soma. And Panama taking care of the ball better. Perhaps they have a, a puncher's chance against Mexico in the semifinal. But three simply brutal mistakes, including an own goal. Put that out of reach. Something for the U.S. to be wary about playing out of the back. A stylistic signature that winds its way from the senior national team all the way down to these 17s. Verhoeven for Figueroa. There's Norberto Bedoja. Five starts, yet to concede. Taken away by Romero. Figueroa. This will find Medina. Figueroa. Figueroa. That's blasted back. Romero there to block it. Seeking Alvarez. Clearance still work to be done. Carrillo latches on for Mexico. Barajas. Lamelli. Three. Penalty. Three shown yellow catches Lamelli. He's hardly put a foot wrong in his time on the field. Comes out, doesn't get the ball, does get the player. That last delicate touch from Lamelli. And Stefano Carrillo from Santos Laguna has a chance not only to put Mexico ahead in this final, another look and this is more for our eyes. There is no VAR. Lamelli up. Rio a chance here to reestablish himself, the leader for the Golden Boot. An individually star-studded performance from Carrillo. He's scored in all five games in which he's appeared. He has a chance now to get his eighth goal. Is there atonement here for Faree? Or can Carrillo put Mexico ahead? Carrillo, he scores! Mexico exerting themselves in the first 10 minutes have the goal to show for it. The eighth goal of the tournament for Carrillo. He scored in all six games in which he's appeared. Sends Faree the wrong way and Mexico storm out to the advantage. Up, up. 
Soma. Rio crashing into the extended leg of Soma. Rio in the 10th minute from the spot. Something I've always wanted, he said, getting called to the Mexican national team for the first time, fulfilling a dream. His goal scoring numbers for Santos Laguna are eye popping and it's certainly carried over. Habrun. Seated to Martinez. Verhoeven. The head of Carrillo. Split out to Lamelli. Lamelli a drive for Reed. Medina, best 11 in the group stage, three goals, but they were all in that opening 5-0 win over Barbados. Hall, Lamelli, Medina chases, Hawkins. Vasquez. Garcia. Now Bay Doja. Spinning around Jura. And a free kick won by Urias. attacking accolades and skill from Mexico in this tournament. Certainly renowned by now. Barajas and Alvarez. Over the ball for El Tree. Baraja steps over, it's Alvarez. Free. He left the net, he gets the benefit of the offside flag. from Habrun. Out by Martinez. When Mexico possesses the ball, the critical pivot in that midfield. Tremendous effort. Romero no further, Vasquez at the back of Garcia. Hey. 
Vasquez did escape the chalk. Another look at the penalty that led to the opening goal in the 10th minute. Lamelli brought down by Faree Carrillo. Straight down the middle. Brought down with confidence by Carrillo. Physical from Vasquez to win it back. Soma called this a once in a lifetime opportunity. Never play for this trophy against this team again. That seems obvious, but certainly you get the point. Restart siphoned off by Vasquez. Soma, Vasquez. Martinez. Jura, Hawkins. Hall, Soma. Figueroa charging. Pumped off by Carrillo. He's a magnet for contact. He does fall off the front. Participate in the holdup play. Navigated back into the center of that top line again for Mexico. Habrun. Given away, it's Alvarez. Alvarez at Faree. Mexico has feasted on mistakes like that throughout the tournament. Twenty-seven goals now. In this, their seventh game in 15 days. Figueroa navigating. Vasquez. Stepping in, Jura. Nothing's been free for the U.S. through 20 minutes. Sustained pressure across the field from Mexico, trying to retain this trophy for a fifth straight tournament. Into the penalty area for the United States, struck across at the feet of Bedoja. Interior contrario, cabrón. 
Jura. Skims back the hall. Gonzalo Cigar is following the semifinal, lauded the fact that this team is kept with the philosophy they've possessed against everybody. After all, it is what they practice every day. And they've done so with exceptional use of the 20 player roster. Hall once again for the U.S. Habrun. Jura, Medina, Vasquez. Medina was well marked, peeling away by Martinez. There's good news for US fans. This is the ninth meeting at this tournament between these sides. There's never been one single goal. And outside of a pair of 1-1 one -one draws. Then at least three. Corner here for the United States. And the support in the building here in Guatemala City making themselves known. Abrun. Romero ran it down, but caught Habrun. Free kick now for the U.S. Hawkins, Figueroa, Soma, Habrun, Vasquez at the edge of the penalty area as well. <laughs> Waiting for a cruise missile. Instead, Vasquez steps over. Switch to a player who can swing it in now. Vasquez. Ahead of Navarrete. Second ball in. Up and away by Romero. Bounces by Soma. Soma snaps it down toward Medina. Soma once more. Hawkins allows Romero to put it wide. Romero overlapping. Drives this off the back of Alvarez. Corner USA. A trio of set pieces approaching 25 minutes. Vasquez. Again, it's Orius this time at the post. Rajas trying to settle. He's lost it to touch. Hall for 
Verhoeven. Navarrete. Martinez. Romero with the U.S. As quickly as Verhoeven can recover and put it in play. trying to extend down the line. Jura spins around. Habrun. Medina. Turned away by Urias. Soma. This has been an excellent performance for Mexico. They've shown shades of this throughout the tournament. Thus far, this has all the makings of their masterpiece. Diagonal chip forward, Vasquez, and now the flag. in this U.S. team about how close, how closely knit they've become. Leadership from a number of players that have been in all seven camps. Turning to that now, ball slid ahead. And over to Carrillo. Now Lamelli. Lamelli for Ray. Got enough to deflect it back and out. Melly, who scored a fine goal against Panama. The fourth and penultimate goal. Barajas. It's Alvarez. Rio sprinting into the frame. A terrific opening half hour for Mexico. Carrillo. Romero. Well taken by Brian Romero, the Charlotte FC homegrown. Their first homegrown. Covered by Medina. Vasquez. The 
provides that union. Mexican players, Figueroa on the run. Figueroa stripped. Soma breaks it up. Here's Suarez, only joined Cruz Azul at the under 16 age group. After the semifinal, one which on the final kick of the game, he scored an absolute stunner. He said this is just one step. Seidman already protruding for this grand final. Suarez, U.S. swing it forward. Vasquez in further. Garcia. U.S. far more of the ball possession. They haven't looked entirely comfortable once they've broken out of their own back line. Pressure has been constant from Mexico on the ball. Hawkins, Jura, two players from opposite side of Cascadia rival. Figueroa, the Liverpool player. Figueroa. Good strength. Maintains it through the challenge of Urias. That'll bypass Barajas. Romero. Jura. Vasquez. Soma. Vasquez weaving through. It's met by Martinez over to Soma. Verhoven got the cross away, awkwardly dealt with by Navarrete. characteristic few minutes here from the United States. What we've seen to this point in the tournament. <laughs> Penalty in the 10th minute. Run by Stefano Carrillo, his Eighth of the tournament in six games as Mexico ahead in this under 17 final in Guatemala City. Twenty teams coming together. These far and away the most successful in that group. Three. Hawkins now, U.S. have won it three times, their 19th appearance. Mexico have won it eight times. Medina. Attacking through the whip into Figueroa's feet. Figueroa turns. And Urias drives it away. These teams, along with Panama and Canada, are bound for the World Cup in Peru in November. 18 years ago, Mexico won the under-17 World Cup in Peru. Of course, by the very nature of this tournament, before any of these players were born. Free kick won by Vasquez. Uh, 
¡Activos! ¡Arriba de abajo! ¡En la línea! ¡Flamos! ¡Izquierda! ¡Más! 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 ¡En la línea! ¡Más! 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 Cruz Medina can produce. Medina. Soma drives the header through. Doja picks it up. I met Morelia went to Tigres where he was advised in part by their legendary goalkeeper, Nahuel Guzman. In December made the move to Club America on a three year deal. Melly. Okay. Oh, Lamelli pushed down by Jura. Mexican free kick with seven minutes and change remaining in the first half. Came off the heel of Carrillo. Doesn't have the lasso at Soma. for the U.S. Figueroa has come to get the ball all game for Hoven. Whip the cross off the head of Romero. For Hoven, they'll try again. Romero. Navarrete this time. Jura. Soma for Vasquez. Vasquez. <laughs> Hung in the air, it's beyond Figueroa. Attempt to clip that down for Hoven. Back heel falls to Habrun. Clever from Verhoven, it's Medina! Medina! A touch 
and saved away from a potential corner. Bedoja's first call to action. Cruz Medina looking for his first goal since the opening game of the tournament. Took that late skip off the ground. Then Habrun mixed up with Martinez. Bedoja up to the task for Mexico, maintaining the 1 0 advantage. U.S. slow to recover this. Touch, weaving back and forth. There's the whistle. Romero and Romero tied up. Javen, the LAFC player. And Brian, the Charlotte player. Stepped in. It's a free kick. Two minutes left in this first half. The penalty from Mexico, the difference. Bree. Hawkins now. You know, a lot of these players, they're new to USA Mexico. Some have experienced it to some extent at the youth level. That can be said for Hawkins, who played with Seattle. The uh, under-17 generation Adidas Cup against Tigres. Not just played, he was the MVP. Hall. Hawkins. One back by Barajas, it's short-lived. Verhoeven, Verhoeven for Vasquez. Clearance straight back up the middle from Suarez. Barajas. Garcia. Carrillo won't chase. This is Hall by his lonesome. Intriguingly, third straight final between these teams. The U.S led both those games in the first half. In one instance, go to extra time. Israel Luna, the 108th minute winner. Another for the 1-1 draw that went to penalties that Mexico ultimately won 5-4. It's Mexico that split the script this time around in the U.S. hopes it's a similar overarching story come night's end. Just one minute of added time in a quick moving first half. Lamelli, Carrillo, Lamelli, streaking through off of Soma, and a set piece for Mexico to close the half. They won't get.
get the set piece. That's halftime. A penalty scored by Carrillo. It's a story that's played itself out in every game he's appeared in. Same can be said for that goalkeeper. Beidoja still is yet to concede a goal in this, his sixth start in the under-17 championship. And in this CONCACAF Clasico by a slim margin, it's Mexico ahead of the United States, 1-0 in Guatemala City.
Raul Chabron probably didn't have much to say at halftime other than well done. Mexico won, USA zero at the break in the under 17 CONCACAF final in 2023. Very little concern for Norberto Bedoja in that first half. The U.S. pressed out of their rhythm from the opening minutes. This Mexican side came with tremendous energy. And when the U.S. has made mistakes, they've pounced. Duran Faree getting his fourth start of the tournament. Leaves his line, catches Brandon Lamelli. Stefano Carrillo scores in the 10th minute from the penalty spot. His eighth of the tournament. Oscarate will come on, the holding midfielder from Fachuca for Mexico. We'll see if the United States have any changes in mind, either now or shortly into the half, should they fail to find the rhythm that they so often exerted early in this tournament. The U.S. have scored 34 times, second most goals to only Mexico, but El Tree has conceded just once. An equalizer caused them to drop points in the group finale against Panama. U.S. are going to go to their bench. And that's Aiden Harangi who comes on. Places Sawyer Jura at outside back. Mexico see out a fifth straight title at the under 17 level. The U.S. find their groove. Damas find their trophy. There's the opening whistle. Here we go. Only 45 minutes guaranteed from here for Mexico and the United States. The CONCACAF under 17 championship in Guatemala. Rolled out by Faree. Yeah, up to it. Up, up, up. Run, run. Pressure from Medina. Pushed forward by Martinez. Verhoeven. Faree. Well done. Morongi, the 16-year-old player from Frankfurt. Medina. Shift through frustration from the U.S. Abrun not on the same wavelength as Figueroa. Alvarez, who came off. Clear defensive minded change for the leading Mexico. Verhoeven slowed it, but up for Carrillo. There's Harangi, who's played in the under-17 Bundesliga, the UEFA Youth League, born in Virginia. Your father played in the Hungary and the U.S. Given away here, Mexico in possession near the end line, rolled back, cleared by Hall, and then the deflection falls to Barajas, who skies it. What a sweet moment that could have been for a player who capped for the U.S. under-17 on five occasions. Use the and the United States looking shaky out of the break. A little shop run, the kind of language you would expect from a Mexican coach in a tournament like this. We came for everything, he said. A demanding tournament, but the requirement still to be the very best. Hey, 
Run, Brian, 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 why? Turn! That's a foul from Martinez. Harangi. Romero. Slide. Foul. David Romero. There's Gonzalo Cigares. The balance that they've shown throughout the tournament, the consistent lineup adjustments, more often than not, strong second half performances. They'll need their best here against Mexico from here. Vasquez. She warned back to the halfway line. Vasquez. Pressure, a slide. Ascarate starting it the other way. Steered it wide. Free, who only joined the roster about a week before this tournament began when Diego Concha went down with an elbow. The Barcelona goalkeeper. There you go! There you go! Barajas puts it in play. Oscarate. Header steered in! A tremendous header by Navarrete. Mexico goes ahead! Stepping forward. Seemingly a trick shot, how perfectly he angled that inside the post. Off the training ground, Ascarate came on at halftime and assists Mexico's second. They've scored off a penalty, and now this set piece. Luis Navarrete's first of the tournament. And the Mexican center back puts El Tree comfortably ahead now. Hold up play from Habrun. Broke down Carrillo. Hawkins. Barajas in his wake. Three. Verhoeven, Mexico 17 unbeaten at this tournament, dating to 2017. That was coincidentally also the last time they conceded multiple goals. 4-3 USA win in the group stage. The US will need to find that magic, watch Mexico retain this trophy yet again. Romero. Come 
Well, 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 Foul and frustration from Hall as well. This is a U.S. team that throughout this cycle have sought world-class competition. Argentina, and Belgium, Germany, Italy, Portugal, Uruguay. Six wins from six games to start this tournament. Naturally, all roads lead to this, Mexico. Disagrees. This Mexican team twice World Cup champions at this level. It was Vela and Dos Santos and nine other players that eventually reached the national team that 18 years ago won it in Peru for Mexico. 2011, winning it on home soil. Of course, they won that tournament, having lost the final of this tournament to the U.S. Awkward skip, referee allows play to continue. Habrun. Romero. Weaving Romero on the feet, Figueroa. In behind, Carrillo. trail for the first time. Once they've garnered a lead, they have not seeded it. But a different script for the U.S. this time around. Header down, Ascarate. Suarez. Harangi. qualified for their 18th World Cup. 
Mexico qualified for the 15th time by virtue of reaching the final four. Panama and Canada as well. Faree sweeps in further. Carrillo dumping out at the end. With that ticket in tow, just the trophy remains. Soma, backing into the pocket. Back from Medina. Soma, Verhoeven. Mexico is done. Tremendous job marking Habrun and Soma in that central Pedro. midfield space. Pedro, Pedro. Rare that they've had any room to run. Harangi. Again, the U.S. pushed outside Romero. Romero early. Rogan Rock. Power gone. The mountain seems taller and taller. Figueroa. Habrun. Falling service. Out of Barajas. Well done by Medina. And this is a much needed American corner. Mexico scored off the corner. Well worked one at that. They scored off a penalty in the 10th minute. Corner U.S. Barajas. Look back by Romero. Again, no room for Soma to breathe. Glorious running the other way. Stride for stride. Streaking into the penalty oh, area, Lomelli. U.S. three subs to try and change the tenor of this game. That's it for Habrun. Christopher Aquino comes on. Aquino's proved to be quite the threat. Ryan Romero comes off. Micah Burton, who scored a goal that certainly provided a shockwave through the U.S. soccer social circles. 
And Paolo Rudisil, joint leader for the team in assists, replaces fellow joint leader David Vasquez. They each have four. Subs two, three, and four for the United States. Yeah, we're good here. Tight, tight. Yes, yes. Romero, the return from Carrillo. Slams off the back of Harangi. Four, four. Aiden, left shoulder. Be aware, be aware. Tight coming in on right shoulder. service. Push. Partially pushed away. Lamelli up. There's Faree. 25 minutes to go. Mexico has conceded one goal in 605 minutes of action. So far, the under-17s. Burton. White from the U.S. Aquino. Aquino! That ricochet is off the keeper. Edoja's got it. A familiar jolt of energy from Christopher Aquino. And the U.S. finding that reserve of energy with these newcomers. Harangi. Wonderful touch. The U.S. into the final third again. Angling Soma. Pumps the brakes. Medina. Medina! gave it right back to Medina. The U.S. finally have a semblance of momentum. Aquino. Aquino turning off the mark from Rudisil. Galaxy 2 player is the MLS next MVP at the under 15 level a couple of years ago. Hear the shouts from the U.S. sideline. Can you just get one back? Turn the tide. It's the first time that Mexico's seemed remotely uncomfortable. Take him back and look at Figueroa fly. Figueroa through. Figueroa! Bedoja! Elastic! And Figueroa, who's new to this under-17 side, raising the spirits of his teammates. He put the entire Mexican defense in a blender. Going to see Bay Doja push it away. 
Can the U.S. capitalize? Aquino crossing, header, in! The U.S. got one back, Pedro Soma! Where has this been for the first hour? The United States rejuvenated, revived. Aquino, tremendous service, but the beauty is in the finish. Pedro Soma's first for the United States at a critical juncture. does Mexico see when they look in the mirror? 2-1 Mexico, a 10th minute penalty and a 51st minute Navarrete goal off a set piece. Soma for the U.S. in the 69th. Aquino, Figueroa, breaks free Burton. With swagger and confidence, the U.S. pilot forward. Harangi, diagonally, header off of Suarez, and in now for the U.S. Takes over the bar, Aquino, in pursuit of the American equalizer. If he scores that, it's a showstopper. 20 minutes to play. It took the U.S. better part of an hour. A trio of subs come on, proves to be that first inflection point. Carrillo, leading scorer in the tournament. Shoved off the ball by Soma. for Holman. In Mexico, they've conceded for just the second time. Gave away an equalizer against Panama in the group stage finale, a game in which they only needed a draw to win their group. It's the only blemish for either of these teams in 12 games. Off the head of Barajas, wonderful. Carrillo, with that clever outlet, Baraja circling in behind. Clarence falls to Aquino. The U.S. are on the run. Lost to the feet of Urias. Lamelli, Lamelli, angling, firing high. Did take a deflection, will be a corner. Target by Isaac Martinez. Handled by Faree. Will he be absolved? Into the feet of Burton. Luis Navarrete downfield. Carrillo and Hall having words. That was a late tackle. Coinciding with the whistle by Carrillo. Mexico. 
Tyler Hall speaking before this tournament. What are you working on? He said, level-headedness, controlling emotions. He's been the leader of this U.S. team. He's handled the captain's armband in this under-17 cycle. Change is coming. Carrillo leaves. With the most goals scored in the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. His eighth come from the spot. Joaquin Mojica comes in off the bench. That's the second sub. Fidel Barajas comes off. Jose Arroyo comes on. Third sub for Mexico. You'd say those have been the two best attacking threats of this tournament. Barajas opened a lot of eyes. And by the time Carrillo was done, his academy director was describing all the similarities he has to Raul Jimenez. Talk about pressure. Both exceeded expectation. And they leave with Mexico ahead and 16 minutes to go. Burton. Aquino, Aquino went down, no penalty. Referee immediately waves that off. This felt like a palindromatic drama. Not to be, at least not yet. Recovered by Medina. Aquino. Mexico do happen to concede here. They have put a lot of firepower on their bench. Ahead for Figueroa. Never reached him. That's Karate away. Mojica couldn't turn. U.S. into the final third again. Attempt to get it through to Aquino. Back to Hall at the halfway line. Soma. All this space out here. Rudisil. Rudisil! Medoja. Right place, right time. We'll look at Aquino. Nutmegging Urias. The tug of the shirt. Perhaps early to leave his feet. Another year, another gold cup, another nation's league where we could see this final again. USA and Mexico, the standard bearers, the standard of late set by the United States, but Mexico, especially in the first 35 minutes, but really for the first 60, look the better side, out to a two goal lead, trying to make sure it doesn't evaporate. Rudisil, Figueroa, son of the Honduran legend. Burton. Burton. That's a way to create your own legend. The Minnesota native. Now with Austin who scored a tremendous goal. The opener against Canada. Bashing in Mojica. Here wedding Urias. Kept in, and that's brilliant from Romero. Urias. This bounces to Moika. And 
It's a foul against Moica and Mexico. Quite the entanglement. Hall. Catching Moika initially, the slide from Hawkins to break things up. U.S. into the final third once again. It's Aquino. Cleared as far as Soma. He scored in the 69th minute. Verhoeven. Bounces out off of Martinez. Poor clearance. Verhoeven. Verhoeven! Beethoja up to the task again. Verhoeven can't quite believe it. The U.S. scored off a corner. Aquino to Soma. Did they possibly find that magic once more? Aquino. And a foul from Harangi. Into the back of Lamelli. This is it for the U.S. Fifth and final sub. It's Gill on for Verhoeven, a midfielder for the outside back. Verhoeven leaving after what could have been a An incredible equalizer. Adrian Gill, the player from Barcelona. With the, that famed Academy La Masia back to 2018. <laughs> Down by Burton, it's Karate. Flicked into the space. Bypassing Rudisil. Lamelli with a deflection, Faree. That tipped off two players, and Faree read it well enough. Gill. Mexico, a decade of dominance among the under 17s. U.S. trying to push them to the brink, as they have in the last two finals. Mexico have made three changes. They've got two windows. They made one at the half. Lamelli comes off the goal and two assists in this tournament. Jonathan Flores enters in. He came on for Romero at the end of the Panama game, the outside back. Entering into the penalty area, served across to Flex. Away from Figueroa now. Gill pursues. Gill, end line, cut back. Blocked down by Martinez. Now Harangi wins the free kick in the United States. Quick to act with eight minutes and stoppage time to go. Mexico believes they can, in fact, see this over the line. Whipped across, Figueroa! He's scored in every knockout stage game. This is only his third start of the tournament. And yet seven goals to his name, an eighth. Well, that would send a, an American fan base in Guatemala and abroad into a frenzy. 
is also trying to do something that his famed dad, Manor Figueroa, never did. Get a winner's medal in an official comp CONCACAF competition. For all the accolades, certainly well deserved as they are. Plenty of contact. Referee looked at that for quite a while. Hall lays back. Duran Faree. He's quickly worked this up. Harangi. Paul. There are certain competitions in CONCACAF where it would go directly to penalties. This is not one of them as it feeds directly into the FIFA Under-17 World Cup. Goal for the U.S. could have us headed to 30 minutes of extra time. And the way the final 30 minutes have shaped up, who wouldn't want to see that? Aquino. Circumnavigating, slipping through for Medina. Doja. Take all the time he can. Flying to ground. Norias, eight there on the left. Scores in the quarterfinal, the ultimate World Cup qualifier, a table of trophies next to the television. His father sobbing, jumping for joy. He'll play it short. No need for glory in this moment. Suarez. Martinez, corner. He's done. Come on, come on, Chris. Good, Adrian. Four more minutes and stoppage time remaining. Adrian, come in. Glorious. Wait. Service. The header down and in, but offside. That would have been the dagger. It's been waved off. Mojica won't count. And the U.S. spared the indignation. There's still time. Correctly deemed offside. And so it's now or never for the United States. Gill did enough to keep that in. Aquino. Throw for the U.S. Morongi. Ball driven forward toward Gill. Here wedding free Urias. Sliding tackle to win it back. Soma out wide. The overlap arrives. Ball across, handled. Vedolja, just the slightest rebound, and Figueroa surely could pounce. Mojica. Urias. 
Urias through, Mojica! He's fouled, it's a penalty! And Mexico will see the U.S. keeper sent off. Second yellow. And the United States have no subs remaining. A field player. is gonna have to step in. And that point just became clear to Adam Beaudry. A penalty in the 10th minute, now a penalty in the final minutes. Swiping at Moika. successfully barter for more time here. Hawkins being handed the gloves. He looks thoroughly perplexed. Faree's got to give the shirt away. Hawkins is about to step in against a Mexican penalty that could put this away. There will be a substantial amount of stoppage time. Weber said a varied skill set. Brian Schmetzer called him coachable. I'm not sure how much he's been coached up for this. They say four added minutes. The ball has been played in two and a half minutes. The U.S. can see two penalties in this final. And three will be able to watch this from the bench. Isaac Martinez simply has to put this on frame. Make Hawkins do something. There's an upside here. Hawkins, the biggest of the American players on the field. Is there something miraculous in those gloves? Martinez can seal it for Mexico at the under-17 championship. Martinez scores! Mexico lead by two. This decade of dominance undaunted. A fifth consecutive under-17 CONCACAF crown is in sight. Isaac Martinez in the second minute of stoppage time is second of the tournament. And Mexico appear poised to make sure that their trophy case is not empty. The U.S. will have just a matter of a few minutes to try and find two goals. And even if they do, Driven forward. Flying over the top, now Medina. The U.S. somehow get this to extra time. They'd have the sixth sub. That's a long way from now. Medina, angling, Medina. Medina still. Gill, Figueroa, Figueroa. Yeah. 
one final sub. Jose Uria scores five goals in seven games, of which six he played at this championship. Near Inda comes on, his sixth appearance, all off the bench, the 15-year-old. That's the fifth and final change for Mexico. Charging forward Arroyo. Hawkins. And that's it, a fifth straight under 17 championship for Mexico. The United States gave all they could in the final half hour to try and change the result. And in the first of for many of these players, the first of many USA-Mexico matchups, Mexico, as it ever was at the under-17 level, reigns supreme. Both these sides will represent CONCACAF along with Panama and Canada the Under-17 World Cup in Peru. This feeling of jubilation will follow Mexico to South America, just as the tears streaming down these young United States players' faces will harden their resolve. In Guatemala City tonight, this CONCACAF Classic, A hard fought effort by the United States to get back into the match. Only to see Mexico carry the trophy back for a fifth straight tournament. The final score in Guatemala City, Mexico three, the United States one. Mexico champions for the ninth time. Luis Navarrete. Una victoria importante. Se llevan los dos de dos, campeonato y la clasificación al mundial. No, la verdad. Sí, muy contento, muy contento más que nada. Agradecido con Dios que nos dio la oportunidad de jugar este torneo. Y pues nada, muy contento. Listo, gracias, felicidades. De nada. a hard loss for today but keep going to the World Cup yeah I mean it was a tough loss today so we, we put it all out on the field and now we're hungry for more and we're ready for World Cup and there's more to come Mexico three, the United States one, the final in Guatemala City at the under 17 championship final. CONCACAF Kings at the under 17 level remain as it has been now for 
A decade's time, Mexico. The United States heartbreak, a valiant comeback effort. Comes up short, reduced to 10 in the final seconds, conceding the third that sealed their fate. As Mexico claim their ninth championship in CONCACAF. And the celebration well underway. <laughs> Capturing moments to being at the center of the moments, I suppose. It continues. This Mexican team so well connected on the field. Their attack unstoppable throughout. They can see just two goals and they score 29 over the course of seven games. On this day, two penalties and a cheeky set piece. Differentiation between champion and runners up. The trophy ceremony set to begin here in a moment. If there's one thing you can say for these young American players, or you can simply see the broken looks on their faces, Mexico didn't win this tournament in 2011. But on home soil, they won the title in the under 17 World Cup months later. By reaching the semifinal at this tournament, you get what most everyone talked about before it began. A number of people publicly call this World Cup qualifying, and it certainly acts as that. And once you achieve that, your, your goals change toward this trophy. But both these teams did attain what they initially came for. It'll extend this under 17 cycle out to November. Both these teams will look to succeed on the biggest stage, the Peruvian Under-17 World Cup. These are moments that are stamped into your psyche, into your heart, and into your soul. Despite all the effort, blood, sweat, and tears of seven camps for a number of these players together the entirety of the cycle. Eight of them, Diaz, Hall, Verhoeven, Medina, Mendoza, Burton, Soto. Will this pressure make diamonds in November? For this Mexican staff, been a beleaguered time for Mexican soccer on the international stage. Is this the beginning of a tremendous 2023, one in which the Gold Cup and Nations League primary trophies available to them over the summer? But those return to the Mexican trophy case. at the beginning. Narratives are created at these formative stages. Hardly concrete the future for any of these players, for these national teams, in the time that these two squads will gradually matriculate upward. But this is that first step into history. the stage being set for this upcoming trophy presentation. One that will include the best player, the top score, which is known at this stage, the Fair Play Award, the best goalkeeper. And of 
course, the winners, the runners-up medals, and those for the referees. The U.S. will pick up their silver medals and turn their attention toward a record 18th under 17 World Cup berth. Dignitaries on hand for this crowning moment for Mexico. Damas y caballeros, nuestro primer premio de la noche es el premio Fair Play del Campeonato Sub-17 de CONCACAF 2023. Este premio promueve el juego limpio y va para el equipo de México. The Fair Play Award. Isaac Martinez steps to the stage, captaining this Mexican side. Except the first of the team focused awards, the under 17 championship. Ahora es el momento del trofeo del mejor porteo, portero para recibir el trofeo. Por favor, démosle una ronda de aplausos a Norberto Bedoya de México. Norberto Bedoya, just one goal conceded in six games. He is the best goalkeeper at the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship leaving Tigres to move on to Club America, a three-year deal in December. This just the beginning. Continuamos con la presentación del máximo goleador del Campeonato Sub-17 de CONCACAF 2023, presentado por Qatar Airways, el cual se otorga a Estefano Carrillo con ocho goles de la Selección de México. The top scorer. Stefano Carrillo, eight goals. His penalty set the tone in the 10th minute. His eighth of the tournament. Ahora, but Mexico ahead. They never look back. De CONCACAF 2023. Presentado por Scotty Bank para recibir el trofeo de México. Gael Álvarez con el número 10. Gael Álvarez, the best player at the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. And the latest player whose star has risen out of the Pachuca A continuación, CONCACAF presentará las medallas de reconocimiento a los oficiales del partido de esta noche. The officials for this game, Filiberto Martinez of El Salvador, Carlos Vargas of El Salvador, and Guatemalan referees on home soil, Christian Alvarado and Jose Ignacio Fuentes. Continuamos An con honor la guard Ahora honraremos al mejor, provided by the Mexican players as the U.S. approached the stage. Medals as runners-up at the 2023 CONCACAF Under-17 Championship. This American team, constant changes to the lineup, invaluable experience. World Cup team that finished fourth in 1999. Beasley, Donovan, Beckerman, Onyewu, Hanvi, perhaps known in some circles, but exploding onto the scene globally. In 2019, it was Reyna and Pepe and Scali and Bello. Who from this team makes their mark quite as loudly as those who've proceeded? 
It's a team that concedes three in the finale, seven in the tournament, scoring 24, six and zero oh in six games before faltering in the finale. Undone by a corner and two penalties. But resilient as ever in the final 30 minutes in pursuit of an equalizer against their most heated rival. There are lessons to be learned from this moment. Eventually, they'll be found. After all, this group, many will remain intact. Travel to Peru looking for global glory on the CONCACAF stage tonight. Coming up just, just short. The United States runners up at the CONCACAF under 17 championship. Y ahora, damas y caballeros. Por favor, démosle la bienvenida al campeón del campeonato sub-17 de CONCACAF 2023, México. Mexico received their winner's medals. This was the lone trophy that they still maintained. The U.S., the Gold Cup, Nations League, Under-20s, Olympic Qualifying, Champions League. CONCACAF W, the women's under-20, under-17, under-15. Mexico retain it in what, especially in the first hour, was dominant fashion. And many of the finest markers of a great Mexican team on display in this group. With such constant pressure, with resolve late, after facing the United States' greatest punch. Just one draw against Panama to blemish their record. They dominate Curaçao. They beat the host country, Guatemala, in the group stage. The round of 16 and the quarterfinal, they knock out Nicaragua and El Salvador to punch their ticket to the World Cup. In the semifinal, a 5-0 win over Panama. team of young but supremely talented Mexican players came together and the lights shined brightest. 3-1 winners. The CONCACAF Under-17 Championship Final. A clean sweep of the awards at this year's tourney. Isaac Martinez. The greatest moment a captain can experience. And at such a young age. His moment of glory has arrived. Isaac Martinez will do the honors for Mexico. CONCACAF <laughs> Under-17 champions for the ninth time. Five consecutive titles for Mexico. They win.
celebration begins here in Guatemala City. Mexico return to the podium in scintillating fashion. Champions at the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship in 2023. And photos that become immortal. Full-time highlights of the CONCACAF Under-17 Championship Final in 2023. Mexico seek their ninth crown, their fifth successive title. The United States look to be back on top for the first time since 2011. And that mountain got much taller just nine minutes into the game. The foul from Faree on Lamelli and Carrillo, as was the case throughout the tournament. No more lethal goal scorer. Eight goals in six appearances. And Stefano Carrillo steps up and goes right down the center to put Mexico ahead 1-0 in the 10th minute of play. The United States looked uncomfortable in the first half, but there were some moments where you could get a, a semblance of an idea of what would make them successful in the second as Medina was denied by Bedoja. For Mexico, they would find their second just six minutes out of the break. The halftime substitute, Yara Azucarte, off the head of Navarrete, is first of the tournament, proves to be the tournament winner. 2-0 Mexico, a looping header into side netting. And Mexico in control with 40 minutes remaining. But the United States were not deterred. A trio of subs came on and changed the game. It was Aquino. Then it was Aquino finding Soma. Then Pedro Soma's first goal for the United States breathed life into their comeback efforts in the 69th minute. With 20 minutes remaining, the United States, a glimmer of hope that they could possibly come back, turn the tide, and snatch the trophy. It was an American onslaught from that point, but Mexico through Lamelli, Verhoeven off the mark, a deflection off of Hawkins handled by Faree, keeping the United States in it. Figueroa unable to score. It appeared that would be the third for Mexico that would put it away, but no, offside. But this. This would surely end it. The captain steps up, Isaac Martinez. After the goalkeeper is sent off, the second penalty conceded. Second time, he receives a yellow card for it. Hawkins put in an impossible situation. And Mexico wins the final, three goals to one. Lifting the trophy for the fifth consecutive tournament, the ninth time the most successful team in CONCACAF at the under-17 level. Look at the full-time stats. The United States, a tremendous second half. Possession actually went down, but they create 13 shots trying to come back from a one goal, really a two-goal deficit in the final 40 minutes.